This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Collector Shot. Today's guest is none other than Craig Narc, not another retro channel, had a great conversation, learned a lot about him, uh, vintage collecting, uh, video game collecting, um, also we learned about Badger Fist Collectibles, which is his um, e-commerce business that he has, and we also talked about YouTube toy hunting and what it's like selling on whatnot and also buying so i hope you guys enjoy this interview i left all the links in the description below for craig so you guys can go follow him and check him out and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy the interview what's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of the collector shot joining me is the one the only not another retro channel my man craig and uh i would say um you know uh, entrepreneur um yeah. youtuber and uh whatnot enthusiast like myself sure. so because you know i mean but we we live on the different ends of of whatnot so we'll we'll get out we'll get into that in a little bit so what's going on man not much or should i say a lot i guess um i had a very interesting christmas break like the family and i we went to colorado um for the holidays i ended up breaking my tailbone oh, so shit. that was fun like sledding uh so i've been nursing uh, a broken butt and Oof. then when we got back like our entire family got sick so we were all down for like two weeks so i'm really just kind of starting to get back in gear for the year you got, you got the uh you got the coof yeah, yeah we oh, had it we that had sucks it. So, that sucks yeah i mean but hopefully you didn't have it as bad as like you know the worst the worst cases yeah. of it like i mean you guys were still able to like taste and smell oh, and yeah. oh, okay yeah so that was all good um i mean it sucked i mean yeah. it really it just like literally sucked the energy out of all of us but other than that's that rough. you know it's, it's like having an, it was like having a bad cold for us so all right that. well that's well that's good i mean at least you know you, you, you know because obviously you hear horror stories of you know people getting it like real bad so you know thank god oh, yeah. that you know that didn't happen that happened to you and obviously it shouldn't happen to anybody but oh yeah still right. so um so what I like to do on the show before we start, um, obviously it's a little early in the day to take a shot. So I'm just going to take a sip of Coke. I don't know if you've got any water or anything, but uh, there you go. Cheers to you, good sir. man. Thanks for coming on. Much appreciated. Yeah, dude. Thanks for having me. So, um, so yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's get into the meat and bone of something. So um, what's, what's, um, what's doing, uh, what's like uh, YouTube been been like for you as far as doing that i mean i noticed the uh the the uptick in the views and the and mm -hmm. the and the view and the uh the subscriber base lately which is great that's that's good stuff man it just goes to show that hard work you know you know pays off and you've been putting out some really great vintage hunts lately that that have been really cool i mean and obviously i could see behind you all the turtle stuff and oh, it's yeah, like dude. it's just it's like it's like <laughs> i'm sitting there and i'm like wow it's like i don't even know where to begin with that stuff <laughs> yeah um <laughs> It, it's been going good, man. Um, I think the beginning of September, I wanted to try to something different with my channel. So I kind of introduced the uh, action figure challenge. And so what that is, is I took one piece of my collection and I, I sold it to get uh, money to get what the the rest of the pieces I need for my vintage TMT collection. Because I'm awesome. going all, all in. I'm going to try to get every single freaking figure piece uh vehicle and all that and that stuff is not cheap so i i've i've witnessed that firsthand i know i see that all the time with all the places i go to but mm -hmm. when when you're saying that you're trying to go ahead and collect every piece mm -hmm. is it is it loose is it in box um you know do you care what the condition of it is or are you or are you just getting whatever you can get your hands on um really um i want a, a loose complete collection okay um, I love carded figures, but I also love to like pick up my action figures and actually appreciate yeah, hold it, them. You know? Yeah. Um, but with turtles, there's uh, 320 something just action figures from 88 to 97. I'm uh, around 220 
right now. Wow. Oh, so you're making some yeah. you're making some headway, man. You're almost at the you're about like three quarters of the way to the yeah. finish line. But you know, I'm to the point where you know one little piece of plastic costs like two hundred dollars. I know. You know? And it's so freaking hard to like pull the trigger, you know, and do that. So that's why I did the mm -hmm. action figure challenge because what I do, I'll go to the thrift stores or uh, Facebook marketplace. I'll go and buy stuff and resell it and put that into my turtle budget <clears throat> to, to pay for this stuff. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to document and kind of see uh, oh, that, the progression, you know, that is, that is something definitely cool. I mean, in a, in a roundabout way, it's really just the hobby funding, funding the hobby, exactly. which is, you know, which is, which is good stuff, you know, and that, and that's, and that's cool because I've actually kind of like have dived into that myself mm -hmm. a little bit. Like, you know, when I first started out, I was just buying everything and anything in yeah. sight. And Thank then, you. you know, obviously I, I sold off all my pops because, mm -hmm. you know, I started out, sold off all my pops. I took all the money that I made from that, reinvested it into hot toys and moving towards action figures and some statues and stuff like that, you know, stuff that real resonated with me. But now okay. I'm, I'm finding, I found my passion. Okay. Cause it takes everybody to find a little bit to it's find a, their thing. A little bit. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm really diving back into my true love, which is pro wrestling. Okay. Awesome. And, and I've gone back and I'm going through right now and I'm going back and I'm getting all these old school Hasbros, That's you know, cool. Hasbros, um, you know, I'm buying some of the elite figures, um, all in on the AEW stuff. So wow. basically everything they've put out, I've basically have picked up with the exception of, um, the chases, which mm -hmm. I, I, I can't control that those things are worth stupid money. So there's really nothing I could do about that except, you know, hopefully just, you know, be, be like everyone else, just be a scavenger, kind of scour the site, see if you could find something, you know, at a, at a good deal on the secondary market. But I understand what you're doing with the turtle stuff, because I've done that too. Like I've sold off some pieces. So now I can take that and go buy some more expensive wrestling pieces that I want. Cause some of these Hasbros are not easily readily to get. And right. I am, I am being a little meticulous with them because you know a lot of them that people that people post and you see they have you know the paints all worn off and everything i'm kind of being a little a little picky about them because i want them loose i don't want them on card i'm like you right. know i want them i want them loose i want to be able to display them pick them up you know do stuff with them but it's like yeah i'm just being a little meticulous just because of about the paint if i'm spending that money i, I just kind of want it to look just a certain way uh, i agree with that man uh so what is like the most like expensive figure that you're looking for right now Oof. Um, I mean, I literally right. just got a whole mound of them in, um, from whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, listen, that place is that, you know, that place is like the most dangerous place known to mankind. I mean, I've gotten some steals. Um, so the most expensive Hasbro was one that was actually not released. It's okay. actually in Matt Cardona's, um, personal collection. It's a prototype of, the rhythm and blues, um, Greg the Hammer Valentine, and okay. that's like a twenty to thirty thousand dollar figure. Holy moly! So it was Ooh. an unreleased un, and he has a bunch of those. He has got a, he's got um, two ups. Um, he's got you know unreleased prototypes. I mean, he's got all kinds of crazy shit in his collection. But yeah, dude, you're going the protos too. Huh? No, 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 oh, no, okay. no, 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 <laughs> no, sir. I do not make yeah. that type of scratch. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you know, listen, in a perfect world. Yeah. If I had, you know, yeah. unlimited amount of funds and resources, sure. I would, I would do what I need right. to do, but yeah, no, that, that, that That's ain't happening. Movies. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that action figure challenge is kind of, kind of cool, man. So it's like, you know, when I first saw you doing it, like I, I didn't watch the, I, you know, I started watching the videos before I watched mm -hmm. it and I saw that you were doing it. I was like, okay. I was like, maybe he's doing where, um, you know, it's like a trade thing. Like you keep, you trade up, you keep trading with people mm -hmm. and, and the value keeps yeah. going up, which is kind of like the same thing in a, in a roundabout way. You're just not yeah. trading. You're just buying, you're just buying mm -hmm. and re and reselling. So it's kind of like the same, the same thing, but that that's cool, man. Like, so is there one sought after turtle piece that you don't have that is like, I'm, I'm sure you're saving probably the most expensive piece for last. Yeah. So um, what, what piece, what piece is that? So that would probably be uh, the uh, turtles in disguise. So, you know, NECA came out with the turtles in disguise figure. So those yeah. are on the vintage, the vintage line um, already, Thankfully, I already have Scratch, the cat, which is kind of, you know, 
crazy. I've seen I've seen that. I've se- I've actually seen Scratch in in person at uh Bits and but uh, Bits okay. and Buttons. He had one he had one loose and he had one loose graded. Yeah. And when he told me what they were going for, I was like, "Oh my god." I was like, "You got to be nuts." Yeah, it's crazy. Um so I got Scratch. He's not complete and his accessories alone they're, pro- they're probably going to I don't know around 1000 to 1500 just depending Ooh. on the market. Jesus. Um, so, so I have to get those accessories, but um, it would be the turtles in disguise. Those figures, uh, just loose, just for a, a plain figure, six to eight hundred bucks. Wow. You know, and that's just. Uh, I mean, they have coats. You know, they have all their accessories too. I mean, you're you're talking close to probably two grand or more for. Wow, that's so crazy. That is crazy. There's some crazy variants and stuff that I'd still need to get. Like I'm just to that point where, I, you know, there's not really many like common things that I can get. Yeah. So, um, this this action figure challenge was really good to because I was kind of already doing that on the side. So I was like, let me just put it in video form, keep my hold myself accountable, and also show people that hey, you can do this too. Yeah. Like, you can totally do this because I see in a bunch of like Facebook groups and stuff like that that oh uh i'm getting out of collecting because it's way too expensive i can't afford it and i'm like oh no don't do that like there's ways that you can you yeah can grow your collection without going broke you know and enjoy it so that's kind of yeah. what i want to show people yeah as well well, well in, a, in, a, in an odd odd roundabout way people people that are like that um it's probably because they don't want to actually let go of the pieces with them it's probably like all or nothing Sure. You know, yeah. so it's like I I, I kind of get that because it's like you know yeah you you know when you're doing stuff like that you sometimes you got to take a hard look in the mirror and face the facts and be like okay what can I really keep and what can I really live without and that's every right. collector's oh, yeah. dilemma when it comes time to to sell because you know there are pieces that I've sold off in the past and I'm like shit now I got to go back and buy it and I'm paying <laughs> paying that. double what I paid for it the first time so yeah yeah I've done that been there but yeah. that is a cool that is that is a cool challenge I, I I I like that that's a cool that's a cool little concept um you know and then I see that you're you know uh, you just did your first um CAS uh grading mm-hmm. which was kind of cool so what was the what was the process like that that like um well they they reached out to me um great great team of guys over there um i they're just like hey you want to get something graded you know we'll we'll sponsor it i was like cool i mean it it took like three weeks which is really fast but i asked them um you know how long does this usually take for just anybody submitting and they said well we're kind of backed up it takes up to six months oh, wow. um so you know that that part kind of kind of stinks but um they also said that they're starting to speed up they said probably by february they're going to cut that down probably to 90 days which is great oh, cool. um the process was seamless i was very happy with with my grade um the shipping was phenomenal. I mean, of course, like you're taking a grill piece. Oh like, yeah, of course. When I boxed it up, I was so freaking nervous. Um, but uh, everything was fine. You know, no problems. It was super fast turnaround and very happy. I'm considering doing more at this point because I, it, it's like a display in itself too. Yeah. You know, so, it's a cool, it's a cool, like, it's a cool talking piece. Like if you ever have somebody come yeah. over and you show them the collection room, they're like, Oh, what's that? You know, it's a cool conversation, conversation piece. Now I've actually been thinking about doing the same thing my, myself. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so now with what you sent in mm-hmm. compared to the original value compared to now that it's graded, did mm-hmm. it increase a, yeah. at all significantly or, or just kind of just stayed where it's at? So I, I believe, I mean, the market varies, right? So yeah. especially with vintage stuff, but um, I believe uh, in the condition I had, it probably between four to four hundred and fifty dollars, just depending. I think if I were to sell it now, I could probably easily get like nine hundred. Wow. Like, okay. So that's a store. that's a big that's a that's a big jump. Yeah. And, and for anybody to submit anything, I believe it's around seventy dollars plus your you know you got to pay for shipping too. Yeah. So I mean, it's, that's not bad. You know, that's not really bad if you have a, a great piece that you want, you know, uh, immortalized, basically. So. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate in that aspect because CAS is actually it's local, right is local, <laughs> yeah. is local yeah. to me. So it's not it's not like I, I, just, I could just go and just drop it off and just be like, hey, yeah. you know, have a good day. 
you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate in that aspect, but, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about doing that. Um, I've actually been going really hard on picking up these, um, Jack specific, uh, Rocky figures. Oh yeah. yeah. So I found, I found two of them that I, that I needed the other day and mm-hmm. I got a good, good deal on them. The guy's shipping them out. So I should hopefully have them this week at some point and the cards are mint. So hopefully nothing Ooh, happens. Yeah within within shipping that way i can give them to cas and 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 try that uh try that process out and see what that uh what that's like i think that's kind of cool man that's um awesome. Heck yeah so the other th- the, so i mean so as far as youtube goes do you have like because i always ask this of everybody else like i've asked it to josh and greg and everyone else that i've mm-hmm. spoken to do you have like a like a set day that you prefer <laughs> to put con- content out on or you just drop it whenever you feel like dropping it so i when everything started like picking up for the channel, that was in September and I was doing every Monday and every Thursday. Okay. Like, didn't miss. And then came December. Um, when we went to tour trip, I was like, I'm totally unplugging from everything. Like I'm throwing this out, like no YouTube. I want to enjoy my family and unplug for a couple of weeks, which was, which was great. But coming back, like, my views and everything has like dropped like by half and it's you know the freaking al- algorithm man it's it's crazy like it takes time to like build back I, up and I'm them. I'm glad I'm glad you said that because that scares the living bejesus out of me because <laughs> I I haven't missed a Tuesday video in five years holy moly dude and and it scares the crap out of me Mm-hmm. If you know something, if like if I were to get like deathly ill or yeah. like you know miss a you know you know miss a week, you know that that shit just scares the the crap out of me when it comes when it comes to that because it's like, you know, um, you know, we all have friends that do YouTube and mm-hmm. stuff like that, so it's like you know they've experienced the same things that you that you know that you're talking about, and it mm-hmm. just it's it sucks that it has to be like that, you know, because like I've been wanting to like take time off. And mm-hmm. like disconnect for like the longest time, oh, yeah. and I and I just can't. I'm like so so afraid, like so afraid of it because of of you know stuff I hear from that, like from you and mm-hmm. like from other other people that do it. So it's like I've just been constantly going. But the thing is, is like I've been doing it for so long that I'm in like such a routine. Yeah, that it just it just become it just became way yeah. of way of life. So you know it it just it is it is what it is. You know, so it's yeah. like. But like when you when you film, do you um, do you like uh, film the day before and then edit it and then put it up, or do you film like you know like a couple of days out and then say, okay, I filmed on Saturday, I'll drop this on on Tuesday or? Yeah, I mean, ideally, I would love to be like a week ahead or two weeks ahead, so yeah. I have content you know on the burner like ready to go. But I, I'm usually like the film or the film the um the video I'm putting out today. Right before we got on, I just did our outro, uh, our, the outro for it, and now it's uploading for today. So I'm usually like day of type. Oh, of okay. Guy. So I edit on the fly. I my goal for this year is to at least be like, you know, at least three videos ahead. Yeah, try to have like a back catalog of yeah. stuff just in case something happens. You're covered. You're you're, you're covered. Like what happened at the, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. and I broke my ass. You know, like <laughs> couldn't really do much. Yeah. So. Um. So what do you so what do you use to film? You use your phone. You use your phone, dude. I use my phone, and I also edit everything on my phone. Ooh, you're a brave soul. Yeah. So I do I've, all that. I mean, wow. I, I transfer it to the computer and um, <clears throat> upload it um, with Premiere. You know, render okay. it all that. But that's it, dude. I mean, I, I'm just so comfortable with this, and you know. I, I would like to like get around because I I'm paying for a premiere. Like I could totally, yeah. Edit, edit. Man, that that I'm just like, oh man, this one takes so much time. I'm just so used to what I'm doing already. You know. It's, yeah, you're in a routine. You're in a yeah. routine at that point. You know, you know all the controls from doing mm-hmm. it on the phone. So then having to relearn that on the computer, I I totally I totally get that. Like, listen, I give you props for doing it on the phone because mm-hmm. I don't know how I can't I can't work on. You know yeah. the screen, the, the the screen like that. I need big everything in front mm-hmm. of me, you know, <clears throat> so I can see. Now <laughs> I started, I when I started doing it, I started using my phone. But then the mm-hmm. problem was, is that I get the shakes really yeah. bad. So I upgraded to a um a DJI uh, Osmo Pocket, okay. which I've which I've used that for years now, and that thing has been like such a 
such a godsend. And it just, you know, it, it's great. It's portable. Shove it in the pocket. I just plug it, plug into the computer. I take all the footage out of it and I use Premiere 2 to edit. So I just dump it into Premiere and I, you know, and it's just, it's cut and cut and paste and go. It's like, I don't do any That's of awesome. the crazy, like, you know, color correction or any case. Right. I'm all about the basics. I just want to plug and yeah. play and that's it. Sure. And that's yeah. it. I don't need to go crazy and, you know, make it so over the top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, sure. uh, but that's cool, man. You know, props to you for doing it on your phone, dude. That would just like, mm, just scare. That just scares me. Yeah, but um, but it's is funny, uh, man. Um, because when I started, like I I wanted to do a YouTube ch- YouTube channel for a while. Um, I started watching like uh the Game Chasers and Pixel Game Squad and Pixel Dan and like all those like uh retro shows and stuff like that back in the day. And I was like, oh, I would love to do this, but I, I'm not tech savvy at all. Like, you know, so I think uh it was. Let's see how had the channel for five years now uh my son was watching uh this guy hunt down amiibos he was like dad you gotta watch this guy he he knows where all the amiibos are at i'm like okay cool so we watched them it's freaking p2 you know at the time (laughs) and and then i got sucked into it because he's so freaking funny like i uh enjoyed all of his content and then i quickly learned that he was doing it on his phone i was like wait what like he's recording on his phone like how how do you do that so I started researching um, all these videos, like how-to videos, and the only uh, videos I could find on how to like edit on your phone was makeup tutorial videos. (laughs) So, oh my god! So uh, I learned from watching makeup tutorial videos on how to edit and everything on the phone, and go from there. So um, that took a couple of months, and then I think was June of twenty sixteen. Okay, video. So awesome! Yeah. So do you, um, so I, I know, um, what is it like? There, there's a lot of cool, I've seen from your videos, there's like a lot of cool shops around mm-hmm. the, uh, the, the Texas area. So it's like, are you solely, do you ever buy anything that's, that's modern or do you just stick to more of the vintage, the yeah, vintage I, stuff? I mean, lately, uh, I've been, my focus that has been vintage, but, um, yeah, I mean, I used to collect a ton of, uh, legends, uh, black series. I'll still pick up like, uh, some uh, black series now uh, just depends on like, do I really like this character? Do, yeah. You know, am I going to appreciate this? Cause uh, my whole thing is just being hyper-focused on what I'm doing with, with the turtles. Like I just want to knock this out right now, you know, before. Oh, I, I, you know. Totally 100. Like I've put everything else on the back burner and I'm like, my sole focus is just getting these, these Hasbros. And it's like, you know, it, it's just, again, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a hunt, it's a hunt, yeah. you know, and, and that's what makes it, you know, of course, that's why we do it. Cause it's the, yeah. it's the thrill. It's the excitement. You know, it's like, you know, people always ask me like, how come I never pre-order anything? Cause mm-hmm. it's not fun to pre-order anything. That means I'm yeah. just going to, I'm going to get it. And that's going to, that's going to be it. You know, it's like, I'd yeah. rather go out and hit these places up and, and go to, you know, go to, you know, travel around the state and other states and Absolutely. you know places I don't normally go to, because you know, that's where you find the best stuff. Always, man. You never know. Um, but yeah, modern right now, I, I'm just doing like the NECA TMNT and the super seven ultimates. I um, love those super sevens. I, I I, them. Those things are, those things are so cool. They're on such a, <laughs> I just actually picked up, um, what is it? Donatello, Michelangelo, oh, nice. and uh, and Casey Jones. That yeah, Casey nice. Jones is like, woof. He's awesome, dude. Yeah. Um, I also pre-ordered the Thunder Tank for Thundercats Ooh. Super Seven, so I can't wait for that. Oof. Did you do us? Did you pre-order the Super Seven party wagon? You know what? I did not. I didn't, man. I I'm I, I'm kind of waiting to see what NECA does. Yeah, because I've heard that too. That NECA's going to be putting one put one out and it's going to probably be at least half the price of what the uh what the um what the super seven is yeah and it wasn't so much the price point for me it was it just doesn't look right for 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 myself i guess like okay i know i I understand no i understand that yeah 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 um i want to see what neca does and then i'll you know make my mind up from there i mean it'll suck if it'll be like okay i want to get super seven now it's like double the price i mean that was yeah sad, I guess well that's, that's well out. well that's what kind of happened with the uh with the super seven masters of the universe stuff in uh, Sig, mm-hmm. uh, snake mountain i mean oh, i i mean what was what was that when it originally uh got announced what was it like yeah, six seven. six seven hundred bucks yeah, now, like the, what i saw it at a con a couple of months ago and the guy wanted like two thousand dollars for it 
That's insane, man. I was like, yo, that's I was crazy. like, that's just that's just nuts. Like, you know, what some cool. of the asking asking prices are for some of this stuff. And they weren't um they didn't say I don't know if I because obviously I was late to the game with that stuff. They didn't specify how many they actually made. Did they? Was there like an actual quantity on that? I don't remember. I, I'm sure there was. Um but I mean also it looks like Super Seven is they're starting to do re-releases with the figures anyway. Yeah. So low key, like I'm kind of hoping, like maybe they'll give us another chance on the van, like later on. Yeah. Um, since they've been doing that with the figures, but yeah, I think before it was like made to order, like you ordered it, and that's what they're making, from what I understand. But oh wow, I could be wrong. Well, I I just yeah, I mean like yeah, Super Seven's been putting out quality quality figures. Oh. I really like them. I enjoy them. The articulation's great. The portraits and everything is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, I noticed the uh, the faker in the upper corner, my man. Yeah, dude. I, I I'm I love those Mondo those Mondo Motus, man. Yeah, I'm the still Hordak. waiting for that Hordak, man. So, did you get the ex did you get the exclusive the exclusive one or just the regular one? Uh, I think I got the exclusive. I'm oh, I got sure. I got mine a while ago. Or maybe it's the other is it's which is it, or is it the one from power cut or is it the one that you ordered did you get the get the one that was the power con one i did not get the power con one nope um so that yeah power con had that one and it's yeah, it was blue yeah color. it was yeah it was like a different color it was like blue and black and because there's a few of us that still haven't got ours yet that you know huh. some of my friends and stuff we, we still haven't got it in and it's all paid for oh. and stuff so we're just chilling that was kind of weird but, so do you do you have all of them or are you missing or are you missing some? No, I have. Let's see. I got uh, Merman. I got Man in Arms, the original Skeletor, Faker, and then that Hordak, and that's it for now, man. Oh, so you don't have He Man? You don't have uh, He Man or or the Scareglow? The Scareglow? Mm -mm, I don't. I I, um, I went I looking for the, the Scare Scareglow, but. Yeah. I went looking for the scare glow and when I saw the price on it, yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. I mean, they're cool. I, I, yeah. I, dig them. I just don't know how deep I'm going to go. Like, I really like Kordak as a character. So I was like, I got to have him. So. <laughs> no, that's awesome, man. Um, So a little, little unknown fun fact. I mean, if people that aren't aware, you actually have your own retail business or yeah. is it, it, it's, it, you don't have a brick and mortar. It's just e-commerce, nope. right? Yeah, so, so, so Badger Fish Collectibles, love the name, love Thanks, the name. Man. I think that's so cool. Um, so you guys carry a little bit of everything or just slowly stick to certain things? Yeah, we, we pretty much, I mean, I order, I have different vendors I order from. Uh, it's mostly modern, but I'm starting to sprinkle in some vintage here and there. Okay. Um, I got a uh, deal with Mondo, so I'm getting in vinyl. Oh, sweet. Uh, so that's starting to slowly come in. Yeah. Um, just anything really cool that that I like, and I think that pe other people might like. That's kind of what we sell. So, so what made you what made you decide to to uh, go ahead and and try that? Um. Well, let's see. I actually I am or I was I am the founder of Retro Madness. Uh, I started Retro Madness actually right here in my garage behind this wall. If you don't know what Retro Madness is, uh, it's a vintage uh, toy and retro game store in the DFW area. Um, there's now three locations. So that started oh, right oh, here. Shit. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so I, I did that for four years. And like we were discussing before we got on um, with my full time job in that, like I never like saw my family like it sucked. You know, yeah. I mean, it was fun. Um so I ended up selling my portion and, you know, it was like, Hey, if I want to do this again, but I, I don't want to do it brick and mortar. It's going to have to be like, you know, e -com all the way. Yeah. And so I kind of waited, you know, three or four years. And then I think it was the summer before last, uh, my wife was like, Hey, I think this is a great time for you to go ahead and do what you want to do and get that, uh, site going. And I was like, okay, let's do it. So I just went in and got it going. Yeah, now now better more than ever because you know people are you know people are afraid to leave their houses and yeah. and people go out so people have just been ordering 
ordering stuff. So, I mean, you know, yeah, that, you know, this has been, this has probably been a good time for you where people will just, you know, order, ordering stuff, which is, which is great. So yeah. you have, um, you do this out of that, you do this out of the house or do you have like a store, like a storage facility or. Yeah. So I originally, I'd started my garage for the first, I don't know, first nine months. And then I was, I, at that point I had three storage units and I was about to have to get another one. Oh my God. And I was like, okay, this is, this is a lot. Like I need to figure something out. So there's a new build of warehouses, um, like 20 minutes away from where I'm at now. And the rent for that, or the lease for that was like, uh, less than half of that. What I'm would have paid for that extra unit. So it was like, it was a no brainer. It's like a 1500 yeah. square foot warehouse. Oh. And, I was just like, I can work out of there and store everything there and save money actually. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, listen, I know what I, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like, I've, I have a storage unit just for my, mm -hmm. my stuff. And yeah. like every other month, I feel like they keep increasing the, the, oh, the, the cost on me. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, like shit. It's up, like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, I, I've got nowhere to put this stuff. So it's like, I'm, I don't have a choice. It's like, I'm forced to pay it, mm -hmm. you know? So it, it, I, I get what you're saying about like, you know, the cost of the storage and how, you know, moving to a warehouse was definitely more cost of oh, gosh, cost gosh. effective. I mean, you know, like shit, like I was even hoping at one point, like uh, me and George and maybe like a couple other guys, we go on like just a huge, huge place together, yeah. you know, and then we, you know, we make that like a storage, you know, we use mm -hmm. it as kind of like almost like a studio, yep. you know, where we could, you know, where we could have like uh, sets and everything and set exactly. stuff up, you know, like that would, that would be kind of cool. And, and we're, we're, we're working on that. So I'm, I'm hoping, yeah. I'm hoping something like that happens down the, down the road, but that's cool, man. Mm -hmm. Like I, I've even thought about trying to figure out how to do that too, because like, mm -hmm. honestly, like I'm getting to the point where like, I'm tired of working for people. Yeah. And, and yeah. I kind of wanted, I kind of want to do my own thing and, you know, mm -hmm. and, and as much fun as this, you know, as the collectible, you know, the collectibles thing mm -hmm. is, it's like, you know, I, I, I could see myself doing it, but I could also see myself not doing it because yeah. <laughs> I'm not a very, uh, I'm not a very, uh, I'm not a man of patience, Yeah, <laughs> you know? So it's like, so, so it's like, you know, I, I would, I would love to do it. I just, I honestly just feel like I just don't have the patience to, to do that. So, yeah. I mean, I know there's a lot that goes into that. So, but there I mean, is, kudos, kudos to you for doing that, man. That that's really cool. I, I, I commend you for that. I think that's really cool. You're, you know, you're following your dream. You get to do what makes you happy every day. You know, you get to be surrounded by the things that give you enjoyment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and like you said, the most important thing, you have time for your family, which is okay, like, yeah. Most Key. important, man. Can't get that time back. So, so let, let, let me let me ask you this, uh, collector to collector. How mm -hmm. many times? How many times have you rearranged your room? Oh God, probably, probably twice a year. Honestly, no, okay. twice a year, and so probably in the past five years, uh, ten to twelve times at least. Yeah, yeah. And is it and is it like adding adding display cases or just adding floating shelves? Um, you both. Know? both. Okay. So yeah, I have what five IKEA detox. I got this beast um, from my wife's work. They're just giving it away. Oh yeah. Okay. Like hey, and come you know it's yours if you want to come pick it up. So me and Boston Mike went up there and um, instantly was like, oh crap, what did we get ourselves into? Because that thing probably weighs like five hundred pounds. Oof. somehow we did it by ourselves that's awesome um, so I, i'm not looking forward to moving that anytime soon um and then i have some floating shelves over here and then this wall is like my retro gaming area and um party fridges and all that so that's cool that's yeah. cool yeah that that's one thing i need to get back into i used to play video games heavily too and it's like i just mm -hmm. i don't have the time, time. <laughs> i mean i i kind of i kind of made it i kind of took a step forward last week i found i actually found and bought a ps5 oh nice so so i'm 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 gonna i'm gonna try to do that because me and george are talking about like going on the channel and like streaming ourselves playing so uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how fun that would be because I'm more of like a Leroy Jenkins guy myself. I just like run straight <laughs> in and, yeah. you know, I don't care what the repercussions are. I just, it right. is what it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's cool, man. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've only ever really re rearranged my room, like maybe like three or four times out okay. of the whole, out of the whole time span. I've got like four detoffs on that side. I've got two behind me over here. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I've got like a floating shelf up here. I've got a dresser here with some statues on it. And I got some mm -hmm. other, other shelves over there. And I got like my other floating shelves over there that have all my other statues and 
yeah and everything like that but it's like i i definitely i, I want to rearrange my room there are things that i want to do like there's a piece of furniture that's like right next to me right here that's like taking up like prime real estate Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's like I in order for me to do that like I need to get rid of that. I need to take the TV that's on there, mount the TV to the wall, you know, yeah. so it frees up the space and it's like it's it's a lot of it's a lot of work involved. So it's like yeah. you know, and then I have to figure out okay, what am I going to put in that place and you know, is it going to be something that, you know, I have to rearrange so I can, you know, people can see if it's visible on camera or mm -hmm. do I just, you know, deal with what I have now. So, you know, right. again, we're always trying to find ways to, you know, make everything look cooler and more we'll presentable and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but that's cool, man. And then now also um, you're, you're selling on whatnot. I am. I am which selling is, on the white night, which is, which is awesome, which is to me the most dangerous place in the world. <laughs> Dude, it, it's, it's crazy. When I was sick, Earlier in the month, you know, I was down for like three days, like not getting out of bed. Yeah. I spent a stupid amount of money and I was like, what the heck? But I'm like, I'm getting all these good deals, you know, like I, I'm saving on shipping. If yeah, I buy exactly. one piece and I see stuff and I'm like, that's really low. Okay. I'm going to buy it, you know? Yeah. Okay, that's really low. I'm going to buy it. I don't need it, but I'm going to buy it because that's a good price. <laughs> no, I, dude, honestly, uh, if I could, I'm trying to see if I could find it. I mean, I picked up. God, man, I picked up so many of these Hasbro figures for like five, six bucks a piece, man. And yeah. they literally look like they just came off the card. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and if and if you find those in the stores, you know, they're like 20 to 30 dollar, you know, figures, depending on the cat, mm -hmm. but depending on the character, because right. there were there were some of them that were, you know, really overly mass produced yeah. that you see on that you see on the regular. But yeah, man, I mean, it's just it it's such a crazy place to go. And, and it's cool though because it's it's live auction. You know yeah. anything anything can happen live. You know yeah. and and uh, you know and, the, and my favorite part my favorite part about the whole thing is, is like when you get into a bidding war with somebody mm -hmm. because you have to get in the mindset. You're like okay, how deep do you really think this guy's pockets? Yeah, re, you know you know really yeah. are like wow. how yeah. yeah how bad does he really want the piece more than more than you do? And mm -hmm. I've gotten I've gotten into that aspect. Um, you know, I've ran into that issue a few times where, you know, I, I overpaid for something because I was just wow. like, I was just like, you know, what? screw it. I'm like, I'm, I'm all in this guy ain't getting it from me. <laughs> yep. I want this. This is my, my deal. And, and I love, and I love the fact about the app that the, the minute you pay for it, it takes it mm -hmm. right, takes yep. it right out. There's no delay. There's no waiting. You know, no. you know what, you know what you're being charged. And again, like I said, if you're buying multiple pieces from one person, mm -hmm. I love that after that, it's just a dollar for the yeah. for the ship for the shipping which is that that's the hidden yeah. gem right there that a lot of that's, people are missing are missing out on uh, yeah that's such a huge deal like i usually don't if i buy one thing in an auction i'm not leaving until i buy something else and that's how they that's how they get me i mean yeah it's just such a good deal it's just like why not it it is it's a it's a cool place i i i've thoroughly enjoyed buying on there and you know the great thing is too is like you get to support your friends you know yeah. like i've i've come on i've bought stuff from you yeah. um you know uh what is it the dub and dub and uh david mm -hmm. with double d collectibles i've bought oh, stuff yeah. from them our buddy uh jeff with slap happy toys mm -hmm. going on there you know buying buying from them i mean you know it's it is a great way to support your friends and you know and again Hang out too yeah exactly and and the cool thing about it is too is like I don't know what you're putting up. Maybe mm -hmm. you're finally, you know, like if I visited your house and I'll be like, Oh man, that's such a cool piece. And then like, maybe like a couple days later, you're like, Hey, I'm putting this up. I'm putting yeah. this up. Make sure you come check out the show. You know, it, yep. it's just, again, it's a cool way to get a piece that you might not have, you know, availability to. And again, you're helping your friends, yep. you know, <clears throat> which I enjoy. I, I enjoy that more than anything. I enjoy helping my friends. <clears throat> I mean, listen. I went onto your I went onto your stream and I bought that uh, that Home Alone that oh, Home yeah. Alone Kevin Kevin Mc, Kevin McAllister and I'm not even keeping it for myself. I'm shipping yeah. it right over to right over to Josh so he could give awesome. it to his kid. You That's know, awesome. that was that was the whole point of that. Like the minute you guys said it looked like Little Man, I was like, all right. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm yep. we're, we're, we're we're all in on that and we're making sure we're getting that to Josh. <laughs> <That's> <clears throat> you cool. know, yeah. so that was that that was fun, man. But um, so. I noticed, um, obviously you're sticking to the, to the, you know, obviously selling the figures and the vintage mm -hmm. stuff and anything like that. Have you, have you thought about branching into the other areas that are on whatnot? Like as far as like maybe yeah. doing the, uh, doing like the video games or like the trading, mm -hmm. the trading cards and, and stuff like that. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, so the past couple of weeks I've been experimenting with that. I'm, I've been throwing in like uh, VHS. I've been throwing in like, uh, video games, like NES games, um, 
Funko, Funko in my last one, just to kind of fill out the yeah, like test the waters. Like. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so um, all three of them did very well. Um, oh, that's actually, good. Actually, freaking Pence bought like three pops. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, thank you, but like, why are you buying pops, man? <laughs> I'm sure they were all Star Wars ones, right? They, they were. They yeah. were. Never, never failed. Never failed. Yeah. With <clears throat> um, but absolutely, I, I think I'm going to. I just picked up 750 VHS tapes Holy over the shit. weekend, so I got to do something with those. Um, I have a ton of like retro games that I need to sell, and uh, probably most of my warehouse is filled with pops. So uh, the number one, the number one killer of toy collectors, ever right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how. Listen, I, I'm, I'm just. I, I know when I first started out, I was like a huge, you know, Funko advocate. Dude, gateway man, and and gateway. and like ever, you know, and I had a few bad, bad experiences, and then I just kind of got turned off from it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, so it's like, you know, like I won't buy, I won't support, you know, yeah. Funko, you know. Yeah. So it, it's just, uh, yeah. But it's damn, dude, seven hundred. 750 VHS, VHS tapes. Now, let me ask you a question. Are they, are any of them sealed? Yes, absolutely. Um, I don't know exactly what I have because it was a pretty quick purchase. And right when I bought it, um, I went straight to the warehouse with it and I had to go yeah. because get ahead of the soccer game. So, um, actually when I get done with this interview, I'm going to go to the warehouse and actually really dig through and see what we got. But there, there were some sealed for <laughs> sure. There was old um, mm-hmm. wrestling uh, VHS, oh. like oh. Uh, WrestleMania and stuff Ooh. like that, and I know that stuff can go fetch pretty high. Well, know. the sealed the, the the sealed VHSs are going for like ridiculous money it's right crazy, now, man. regardless of whatever whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like you know, because one of the newer things that I that I've you know researched and looked into are people actually getting VHSs graded. Oh yeah, dude. Speaking of sealed. Oh, I see that. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah. That's that's my child. That's my childhood. Right there, you're holding in your hand. That's everybody. That's mostly everyone our age's yeah. childhood that you're that you're holding right there. Wow. So yeah, that was actually gifted to me um, when we were in Ohio at that last toy show. Um, this lady that watches the channel was like, "Here, I know you like turtles." I'm like, "Do you realize how like much how much the yeah how much that's worth?" Yeah. It's yeah. Like yeah, I do eBay. I, I know. I'm like okay, <laughs> like. That's like 300 bucks. You're just like, here. It's crazy. I felt bad, but I was so appreciative. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely, man. I mean, it, it's, you know what, listen, it, it gives, it gives guys like us like enjoyment, like when, you know, like when people send us stuff or, you mm-hmm. know, people want to say here, take, you know, take this. And, you know, it, it's great because it makes you, it makes you feel good because not only, okay. not only is that a, uh, is that, you know, you formed a connection mm-hmm. with this person, but they they generally appreciate what you do. You know what yeah. you do for the toy community, for the mm-hmm. YouTube community. You know, and 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 that is a great feeling. And that and, and yeah. you know, listen, and that's why I do this. I don't do it to become big and famous. I don't yeah. care about subscribers mm-hmm. or views or shit like that. This is just all fun for me. This is a hobby. A hobby. Listen, yeah. I can wake up. I could wake up tomorrow morning and just be like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't, yeah. I ain't doing this shit anymore. And you know what? I wouldn't lose an ounce of sleep yeah. over, over it, you know, but it, but it, it's just, it's fun. It's become a hobby. It's become and a way of, li- meet, way of life. Like, great people. Like, you know, oh, how many absolutely. friends that we've all like acquired over freaking YouTube is yeah. insane. Like life, you know, people that are going to be lifelong friends, mm-hmm. you know, For like sure. obviously like, you know, through, through hanging out with Brian, I met Josh and then hanging mm-hmm. out through Josh. I met you. I've met mm-hmm. Cincy. You know, yep. I've met, I've met Kyle, you know, it, you know, oh, yeah. you guys, and you know, and you guys are a great group of guys. And it, and it, again, it's cool that, you know, we can all talk to each other, you know, and, you know, and like, you know, there are times where like, you know, Oh, Josh has hit me. I'd be like, Hey man, if you come across this, you know, let me, you know, let me, mm-hmm. you know, let me know. And it's great that we can all help, you know, we can all help oh, yeah. each other oh, out. Yeah. And that, that's mm-hmm. the, that's the great thing about it. You know, we form, you know, like a little community amongst ourselves and, yep. you know, again, like that. And again, that's another one of the things I enjoy just meeting people from all walks of life. Life. 100%, I mean, it's, it's you know, again, meeting, meeting life, meeting lifelong friends have been doing this. And that, and again, to me, that's more of the important thing is just the friendships. Again, okay. I can care less about the subscribers mm-hmm. or the view or becoming a, you know, getting that silver plaque. Like, Hey, look, look, yep. look at me. I got a bigger dick than the next guy. Yep. You know, it's like, <laughs> I, I don't care about that shit. Yeah. No, you're, you're a hundred percent right. Right with that. Because it's man, like, when I had retro madness and stuff, like I, I got so disconnected from like um, 
my my friends at that time you know yeah. that were, which were still friends but we used to hang out like every weekend and then like all of a sudden i was busy in you know with retro and with with uh, my full-time job and the family so i kind of lost that connection with those guys and then when i started doing youtube and meeting all of you guys it's like oh wow like you know here's some great people that i talk to every day like yeah. all the time and um it's just been great man love it That's it is it's been part. it it's been awesome it's been a blessing but you know listen we, with with every blessing there's been curses you know it's like you know it always hasn't been it always hasn't been a clear cut yeah. walk in the park you know we've all had our our issues that we've come you know that we've come across and, oh, and yeah. dealt with through through doing this sure. so i mean you know but again like it, it's great that we've got you know each other to lean on you know like mm -hmm. you know if like you got a technical question you know you could reach out to me or you know mm -hmm. vice versa or hey yeah. Hey, I'm going to be in tech. I'm going to be in Texas. I'm going to be in this okay. area. Hey, do you know what, what stores are in, you know, this area yeah. and vice versa. If you have, you know, you come to my neck of the woods, you know, I can tell you exactly where to, you know, where yeah. to go. And, we're, and we're again, in the Florida trip this year. So ooh. that will be a thing. Ooh, so, well, you got to let me, you got to, you got to let me know where you're headed then. I will. You know, because so what is it? Mo every, usually most, uh, most guys I talk to, you know, when they come down here, they always head to Orlando. So, yeah, I, I think we're, we're talking to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, oh, area. then, then so. you're right in my you're right in my neck of the woods, dude. Oh, I'm literally nice. like 20 minutes from 20 minutes from Fort Lauderdale. So, yeah. awesome. That'll that'll be cool, man. Oh yeah, Better get the whole crew. And then uh, what is it? We're talking about um, we're talking about doing that uh, that con in uh, Nashville. Oh, ICC. Yeah. Right? So yeah. So yeah. we're talking. We're we're talking about doing that. So you know, I don't know if you're gonna go. I don't. You were there last year, I think, right? I didn't go last year. Oh, okay. Um, I'm planning on this year. But it's okay. gonna be a, it's gonna be a pretty because I'm gonna go to King County the weekend before. Okay. So I got to make sure my wife won't kill me if I go to uh, Nashville. It's gonna it's make so sure that it's so funny to hear that cool. that my wife won't kill me because, yeah. dude, let me tell you something. So we're we're already I'm already I've already got like four or five trips planned mm -hmm. for the, for this year. So like yep. this Friday, like this Friday. I'm going to Orlando because um, what is it? The major wrestling figure guys are doing a uh, okay. doing their live doing their live podcast, and it's in Orlando. So nice. I'm going. I'm going there for that. Then, like a couple of weeks later, there's a, another collector con in um, Orlando. So I'll probably be there for that. Mm -hmm. Then in March, then then in March, in the beginning of March, I'm going to um, AEW Fan Fest. Which uh, you know, I hope that you know one of the new things I want to try to get into is getting you know a lot of my wrestling figures actually like autographed. Oh yeah. So yeah. you know, so so we're gonna go that. Then a week or two later, we're in Atlanta for toy yeah. for toy for toy Atlanta, and then after that, then we're planning the the trip to to Nashville. So mm -hmm. it's like she's like, you're going to all these places, and yep. blah, you know, she's like, <laughs> you're leaving me with the kids, and it's like, listen. This is business, okay? If you think I'm going, if you think I'm going for fun, you're wrong. She's like, that's bullshit. She's like, everything you do is fun. I was like, okay, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I try to justify it, and then yep. I'm like, no, it's okay, you got me. They're like, yeah, you win. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I mean, listen, I'm glad I'm not the only one that 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 gets that kind of push pushback, you know. So it's. Oh like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not so much pushback, but it's just like, okay, like I, I get it, but um, because I'm going to. Toy Ohio in February. I would love to do that. That's that's I, a that's one of the ones I want to yeah, go to. I think a bunch of your wrestling dudes are gonna be yeah, they're gonna be yeah, they're gonna be there too. Um, so I'm going there. The next weekend was supposed to be uh Toy Fair, but they canceled that. So Loki, I was kind of relieved that that happened. And then I think like two weeks after that, it's another show, and then um mid March is retro expo here in Plano. So I'll be there. Lots of travel. Lots of so, travel. So when you go to these show, when you go to these shows, do you do you go to uh, you know like set up like set up shop, or are you going just to just to visit just to see what you can find? Mostly just buying. But for the retro expo, um, they got, they contacted me and they're like, "Hey, um, you want you want a couple of booths?" Just oh shit. Like, yeah, yeah, I want a couple mm. booths. That'll be great. Uh, help you clear up some of that stuff in the warehouse. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> great. Uh, great group of guys that run into that show so um great show too i think they're gonna have some power rangers out there um back to the future cast uh, oh wow so it should be pretty cool that'll be cool yeah hold on to that back to the future stuff get them to sign some oh yeah sign some stuff that would be awesome cool. Um, but that's, that, that's cool. That's cool, man. Like, you know, like I enjoy, like I just did, we just did a uh, con, uh, last week 
uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, what is it on the West coast? It was a uh, Punta Gorda, uh, me and OG geek. Uh, you know, we had a, you know, we had with slap happy, we had some tables lined up and, uh, you know, we sold some stuff and, and it's funny. It's funny how, um, doing YouTube, you know, people spot you and be like, Oh, yep. I want to buy something that was in your collection. Yeah. You know? And, and it's it just, you know, it's funny though. It's like, you know, okay. So, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm laughing and I'm like, Hey Mike, I'm like, maybe for the next time, we should get like one of those uh, one of those banners made that says like as seen on YouTube and just have our logo, <laughs> you know, just have our logos yeah. on it and just see yeah. if that'll, you know, that'll that'll draw people, you know, you know, more more people in. But it's like, listen, everything that I'm that I made, mm -hmm. you know, it just goes back into buying more oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, like, you, you yeah. know, it's it's like I'm not I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to do this for like a living or anything. It's just it's, you yeah. know, it's helping me achieve my dream of collecting all the series of Hasbro's. That's it, man. <laughs> that's it. That, and that's you know, what, that's the smart way to do it. And the funny, and then the funny thing is, is like, okay, after that, like, I'm going to be afraid of like what the next thing is, because at that point, then, yeah. then you're just starting, you're starting from scratch again. And, yep. and it's like, okay, what do I really want to dive, dive into next? Yeah. And it's, I have a few things that I'm trying not to dive too deep down the vintage hole because I'm really, my focus is here, but it, yeah. it is hard. It is really hard to be like, uh, I don't need to start this now, but if I wait too much longer, prices could be like double and, um, it's just a hard thing, man, but I'm glad I'm staying focused. I'm proud of myself because usually I'm everywhere. Like you yeah, were saying. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's a damn mess. But it's, you know, but it's, you know, it, it's funny though, because it's like, I am staying focused, but I do find myself picking up little things mm -hmm. like, like here or there. Like I actually, it was actually really funny. The last one of these that I did with, uh, with Josh was funny because we were talking about, um, Thanos, mm -hmm. the hot toy, the hot toy Thanos. So I have, or I had the non at that time, the non battle damaged version from Endgame. Okay. And Josh is like, oh, I got the battle damaged one. He's like, it's it's like way better. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, but I don't need two of the same. I'm like, I don't need two of the same character. So I'm like, yeah, you know, and I'm like, it's a, it's okay. So then I go to the lo I go to my local store Tate's, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. I see the battle damaged one out of the box and on the shelf, and I'm like, shit, Josh was right. Yep. So I went ahead and bought it, and then I actually wound up <laughs> two like a day or two later, I actually wound up selling the non battle damaged one. So yeah. it, it basically, you know, again, it was a, wa it was a wash at that point oh, for me. Yeah. So, you know, so, so I'm, a, I was okay. I was okay with that. Like I said, you know, it's the hobby funding the hobby. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but yeah, but it was just funny though. It's like, you know, it's like, I'm always tempted by, by hot toys. And mm -hmm. it's like, I, I, the God, man, it's like when I sold off all my pops and, and I started figuring out what I wanted to do when I started seeing hot toys, I was like, <sighs> all right, let's, let's start out slow yeah and just and just no dude i just went head first right into that right into that dude i mean like before i knew it i was like 70 80 hot toys deep that's crazy man you know and and the and the 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 one the one today that still always you know gets me for what i purchased is the uh the hulk the hulk buster oh, yeah. you know that that's to up to this date that was the most i've ever spent on a piece it was 1200 mm -hmm. it was 1200 dollars, and I just, you know, like after I bought it, I walked out of the store. Like I just had like this horrible feeling in the pit of my right. stomach. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, and it's like, you know, George and Mike, George and Michael with me. And they're like, dude, this is so awesome. I can't believe you bought this and you pulled the trigger on it. And they're like, why aren't you happy about this? I'm like, oh I'm going to walk in the door. My wife's going to be like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then I have to explain it. It's the size yeah. of a small child, man. It is. It is. It really is. The well, box, the box was massive. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, I almost, I, you know, trying to wedge that through my front door was, was a, was a trip in itself. <laughs> so, but it's like, but yeah, that's like the most expensive, like I've ever piece I've ever paid for. And it's like, it just still to this yeah. day, man, it's like, I look at it and it like, I still get that grumble in my stomach, but it's like, yeah. does that ever, does that happen? Like, I mean, like, honestly, since we're already on the subject, so Quite what's yet. the, what's the most you've ever paid for, for a piece? Um, good lord, that's a good question. Um, it would probably have to be that scratch figure. I think I paid close to six hundred. Um, okay, so that's not that's not bad considering the fact what I've seen it go for. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, not terrible, but I mean, yeah, I mean, there's been big per or like, uh, like I'll go to a shop and you know, 800 bucks on random stuff. And yeah, I get yeah. that feeling. <laughs> like, oh, what yeah. did I just it's, do? it's like, yeah, it's like, how do you explain? It's like, how do you explain yeah. that? 
you know, yeah. but, uh, but that, but that's, that's cool, man. Um, so I always like to end every interview and, and I apologize, my apologies, Brian, if you're watching this, I didn't do this for Brian, everyone else I did it for. So Brian's like, Oh, what am I not a collector anymore? Oh. <laughs> so, um, what are three items in your collection that you would never ever part ways with? Oh gosh. Part ways with, um, probably like if my... someone offered you even stupid money for it, you would be like, yeah, no, this is never leaving my collection. Yeah. Probably my, my original child, my childhood Nintendo. So oh, I, recently... you still have, you still Dude, have your yeah. Nintendo from when you were a kid. Crazy story. So I legit had nothing from my childhood. Right. And, um, I'm on my, uh, on the phone with my dad, like, like this time last year, he was like, Hey, Craig, I, I found your, your Nintendo from when you're little. And like my face like dropped, like, I was like, Holy crap. Cause I have nothing from when I was a kid. Like yeah. I thought that was long gone. He was like, yeah, it's just, it's sitting in the shed. I found it like screwing around or whatever. So I made a special trip. He lives in Memphis. So I drove oh, okay. up there. I actually, I filmed it. I, I, I did a video on it. I didn't go in before to, cause I wanted it to be like authentic and, you know, yeah, like, like, yeah. You know, reaction. And that was, that was pretty emotional actually for me because I thought like all that stuff was gone. So definitely the Nintendo. Um, and the, and the million dollar question, of course, it, yeah. it still worked, right? It did not. It did not. Oh. <laughs> like I in the video, I'm like, okay, moment of truth. Like, and <laughs> So I had to clean it up. It, it, it works perfectly fine. Oh, awesome. Um, what else? I don't know, man. I mean, I would probably have to look at, I have had some awesome like gifts given to me um, yeah. over the years. So, but definitely the Nintendo. I think that's one thing that there, there's no, no way I could do. You know, that's when I go to one of my kids, you know. Later on. Oh yeah, that's something that stays. Yeah, that that's a that's a like a family heirloom. That yeah. that goes from kid to kid to kid to kid. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely, man, absolutely. But the funny thing is, is that you've got you know you said you've had three kids, so you got three. What, <laughs> so what kid? What what kid? The, what kid gets it? Yeah, I don't know. Put a <laughs> in the room and see what happens. Like I yeah. So like so like this is a pretty e easy decision for me. So since my mm -hmm. little my little guy is like so big into wrestling, like his old man, I, mm -hmm. there's no question that I would totally bequeath my wrestling collection to him. Oh, awesome! Heck there's yeah. no there there's no there's no question. I, I mean, obviously, you know, hopefully I'm around long enough to where he gets old. You know, he gets older to you know actually see him. You know, enjoy the pieces, or you yeah. know, God forbid something happens to me, and then all of a sudden, like everything I've bought that's still in boxes, he just opens it up and I was like, no, you ruined the document. <laughs> No, you're doing it all wrong. Yeah. So, but yeah, I yeah that that that's cool, man. I mean, like honestly, like I agree with you. Like I don't have anything from mm -hmm. from my childhood. I mean, like all that stuff is long, long, long gone. gone. Right? And mm -hmm. and it's funny when we talk about stuff from our um, you know, from our childhood because my dad always tells me like this horror story. You know, my dad. You know, I'm just like my dad. I'm a big baseball. I'm a big baseball guy too. Okay. And my dad had ungodly kid cards from like the 50s oh wow you know Ooh. and and you know he had mickey mantle's rookie card i mean That's think crazy. i mean th think think about that and think about the value he goes oh yeah he goes yeah great he goes grandma just took all that and she just threw it in the trash think about all oh, think you think about that now all the money that got yeah. thrown got thrown away and i'm just Ooh. like how do you I'm like, i look at my dad i'm like how do you live with yourself after that <laughs> yeah right like like how do you how do you know how do you know yeah what you know what, what she threw i mean obviously back then you know nobody knew the big you know the no. trading cards would be what it is what it is today but right. but still i mean like just think think about how much money was just thrown away Gosh. what do you think that card goes for like right now oh i'm i'm sure a mickey mantle rookie card if it if it's a i think if it's like over a certain grade i don't know mm -hmm. the exact grading that they do but it's i'm sure it's got to be in the upwards of probably like a half a million to over a million I mean, if you if you th if you think about that, you know, one of the yeah. most beloved beloved uh, yeah. ball players in Yankee in Yankee and baseball history. Yep. I mean, just yeah, just just think of it. Now, card card half a million dollars in the garbage. There you go. Yeah. Have a good day. It's cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. 
So, but Craig, I appreciate you coming on. Um, Guys, I will leave the link in the description below for Craig's channel, not another retro channel. I'll also leave the link in the description below for his website for Badger Fist and his Instagram. Make sure you go check him out. And I'll also leave the link for his whatnot page. So you can go check him out on uh, whatnot when he does live sales. Go ahead and follow him. That way you can track when he's doing uh, sales and events and stuff like that, which is great. You know, and again, you know, you're helping us out by doing that. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's always, it's always good to help people out in the community, especially good people like yourself, man. So guys, make sure you go check out, like I said, go check them out. I'll leave the links in the description below and uh, yeah, Craig, thanks for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. I had a blast. Yeah. Um, And uh, yeah, maybe uh, we'll figure out who we'll get on next time. And again, guys continue to comment below, um, you know, the names of guys who you want me to get on, you know, we'll keep doing this doing this as we can and uh you know maybe i'll give someone else their uh, their shot next time so uh we'll see you later and have a good one